How do you see, Mr. Verma, the manner in which the India-China border standoff is getting into this bitter tutu meme between the ruling BJP and opposition Congress, the daily war of words? You know, Rajdeep, frankly, I am aghast with the reaction in India to the latest incursion of China and the clash we've had uh, in, in the eastern sector. I mean, here is a collective threat to India from a country which sees India and will see it India for the foreseeable future as an enemy with which we have to deal. And here we have a situation where the ruling party of the gut country, the BJP, accuses the main opposition of being in collusion with China and the main opposition accuses the ruling party of being in collusion with China. I have rarely seen any country in such a situation having such a juvenile, delinquent, unintelligent, and frankly self-defeating response. This has to end. In a democracy, the opposition has the right to interrogate the government, to ask for facts, but to say that the BJP is in, is in hand in gloves with China or for the BJP to say the Congress is being paid by the Chinese. Are we a democracy or a banana republic or a tin pot dictatorship? Very strong words there, Pavan Verma. Are you effectively saying that this political delinquency now exists on both sides of the political divide, that the government and opposition simply need to get their act together, realize the way uh, uh, democracy functions on critical issues, or is it that they just don't trust each other, that we are in a situation in our country where the government and the opposition simply can, cannot even speak to each other anymore on critical issues? You know, I think that we have, even when matters of national security, on which, in spite of the discourse, there has to be consensus, there has to be solidarity, there has to be resolve. I think what has happened in our country is that for short-term political gain, we are willing to sink to the lowest level of uh, unsubstantiated accusatory politics. And the people are supposed to be cannon fodder who will fall for these kind of allegations without asking the basic question, look, we've elected you, not for these kind of... Uh, of histrionics mm -hmm. without any substance, but for a mature democratic interaction. And I think, frankly, what has happened recently with China demonstrates that so clearly. The reaction in India mm -hmm. is, is, is one uh, that, that should leave us all asking the question, is our national defense and security in safe hands, or are we only trying to score brownie points against the other? The government, I must say, and to give credit where it's due, has done a great deal in the last few years in strengthening our border infrastructure. Rajdeep, you will recall that in, earlier we had once a defense minister, Raksha Mantri, who said that if we build a roads infrastructure on the border, what is the use to only enable the Chinese to come into India that much easier? I mean, that kind of approach against a relentless, mm -hmm. carefully calibrated, long-term enemy, which is China, I, I think was 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 uh, very very uh, uh, bad for our national uh, uh, priorities. Now we are making that effort, but in between we have, as you called it, tutu meme, which degrades the level of political discourse. But on a matter of national importance, to a new low. No, but should Parliament therefore be debating the Chinese issue or not, given the sensitivities involved? We've seen walkouts by the opposition saying the government is not interested in debating. The government says the opposition is getting desperate and these are not issues to be discussed in public forum. I mean, when are we going to have a healthy, rational debate on China? Should Parliament be the best forum for it or not? Of course this should be discussed in Parliament. And of course the opposition has a right to ask the government. As happened, as you know, far more democratically in 1962 during the Chinese war, when a person no less than Atul Bihari Vajpayee asked for a session of parliament to be convened and Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru as the prime minister agreed to it. There should be 
a discussion in parliament the government is entitled to reveal whatever it can without compromising national interest and to be as transparent as possible but at the same time mm -hmm. outside parliament the atmosphere is so vitiated by acquisitions of the kind we are seeing every day spokesman of the two largest political wings in the country say that the other is sleeping with the chinese no wonder it was so easy for foreign invaders in the past to conquer india you know one very quick uh, answer uh, uh, from you uh, pavan varma it appears from what you are saying to me that your experience as a diplomat and politician tells you now that at the moment the chinese are having the last laugh they are watching indians fight like cats and dogs without a doubt in fact in china they must be wondering that what is it that we have done which has so completely divided india instead of uniting it that is the question the chinese are asking and that is what people who belong to any mature democracy must be wondering about the world's largest democracy i think we should stop making a mockery of ourselves i think we need to raise the level of political debate and i think this kind of uh, response to a matter of national security is is, is frankly mm -hmm. doing us a great deal of harm